July 4th, 1776, when Abraham Lincoln threw out the first pitch at the Super Bowl and hopped on his space shuttle to become the first man to walk on the moon. No. Do people even know why we celebrate the 4th of July anymore? I'll give you a hint. Because some dudes in pantyhose did something big. They were the founding fathers and they were the first Congress and they approved a statement called the Declaration of Independence, which is what signified America's birthday. It was the creation of at least the idea that a bunch of states in this side of the world were going to quit the British. It was a breakup letter. The Declaration of Independence says to the king, we quit you. We won't be going out anymore. We're going to do our own thing and see some other people who are only here in North America. The Declaration of Independence was written by Thomas Jefferson and edited by some other people. The Committee of Five that put the thing together in June and July of 1776 consisted of Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, a guy named Roger Sherman from Connecticut, and another one that no one knows called Robert Livingston. Jefferson did the heavy lifting and he had about two weeks to write the draft of this amazing document that simply changed history. It is a statement that says America will no longer be considering themselves subjects of the British king. It is a document that declares independence, but not until it lays out more than two dozen crimes of King George III. Basically says, here's a decade of what you've been doing wrong, Jack, and we're not gonna take it anymore. It asserts powerful concepts, things that are self-evident, like from now on, everybody needs to know these things. The idea of natural rights, that a person's existence gives them the right to establish kings in governments, not the other way around like it had always been. As a matter of fact, it established a civil democracy based on personhood. Because you see, all men are created equal was the powerful self-evident reality. And yes, America would need some time to grow into playing out that reality, but the Declaration of Independence becomes a world changer. No one had ever written down these ideas. No one had ever said the fact that everybody gets to go after life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So that's what's self-evident. Governments exist for the people. Governments are established by the people. They are instituted among men and they derive their powers from the people. And oh, by the way, here comes the revolutionary part. Governments can be abolished, they can be ended, they can be taken out. And so when the American Revolution is signified in a document, it is first the Declaration of Independence, which will eventually lead to the Constitution, but that's not until 1789. So on the 4th of July, we're not celebrating the Constitution. And Abraham Lincoln wrote this Gettysburg Address once upon a time, and he said four score and seven years ago. He wasn't talking about the Constitution. He was saying that his political philosophy was aligned with the ideals of the Declaration. So while it is a document filled with, here's what the king did wrong, it's also a document that says, we have the right to abolish the government. We declare our independence. So that's what makes it such a significant day because the document was officially approved on that day. John Hancock signed it. And in August, eventually, uh, 56 signers walked up and pledged their lives, their fortunes, their sacred honor. And they believed they were signing their death sentence because if the British got their hands around their necks at that point, it was gonna be nooses to follow because they would hang for treason for what they had said in this bold Declaration of Independence. Uh, if you have any other questions or topics you'd like to hear about in U.S. history, hit me up on Twitter at Clay Morgan PA. This is History Guy Clay Morgan for USA History Guy and Torver Academy. Peace. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was thinking about the pyramids, just like you should be. Hey. Let's say a big thank you to Clay for giving a baller lesson on some baller topics. That's what's up. Don't get a chance if you ask him. Also, if you get a chance, check out Clay at ClayRots.com and subscribe to him on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can learn everything ever and never miss anything ever. Not even a free throw. Seriously, you subscribe to this channel, you will not miss a free throw. And here's the guarantee. If you ever do miss a free throw if you subscribe to this channel, we will give you back all of the money we took from you. Which is nothing. So go ahead and subscribe. Check out Clay. Go ahead and subscribe.
Okay. I'll wait. <laughs>